Hi everyone, the Lord Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. As you can see, I am doing a bit of exploration. I'm doing that in the Gila because I do think I should make a quick update video on the missiles that I was using. Definitely a big mistake. Uh, I'd basically forgotten about the uh, specific bonus to kinetic and thermal. So I just found a 3 out of 10. Let's run it with this time. Kaldari Navy Inferno Light Missile. So thermal damage should give me better bonuses. Um, and let's see what happens. There's also a couple of topics that I want to quickly mention basically in this video as well. Uh, some things that were asked and uh, that I really hadn't covered just yet. So the first one uh, was someone asked like two weeks ago on a video, what are my thoughts about the Omega packages, the new Omega packages? And at the time I just didn't respond because I didn't know what he was talking about. But in the meantime, I did find the email from CCP uh, that, uh, that shows these Omega packages. Basically, they are packages where you get a month subscription and then you get some extra goodies like uh, some skins, sometimes a couple of extra plaques, uh, extractors were in, the, in, in one of the packages as well. And I feel like, well, it's, it's not for me, right? I've been subscribed for long enough and I don't really care that much about... Um, about the vanity items uh, but I felt like there was absolutely nothing wrong with them it's definitely not like uh, they are all of a sudden selling something completely new or something that um, is not in line with the sandbox second topic uh, of course it's the Gila so let's see how these launchers now perform on these frigates when uh, we have better missiles in them and then let's put our drones on the black Ops squad leader and yeah shields gone in one hit I think it's more damage than uh, with the with the Mjolnir missiles uh, if you look at the fitting as well it's like uh, hmm, that's kind of bad I thought it was more than 700 dps oh that's because I'm using the infiltrators so it's showing uh, actually 740 dps I think if I use the uh, the hammerheads but I lost a hammerhead in a previous site, uh, to my great shame. So let's move on here, let's grab all of these, use the, the launchers, and then let's try to find the wreck actually, because I wasn't paying too close attention. Is that... that's just a regular small wreck. Overseer, there we go, that's what we need. Activating the afterburner, and you can see very fast clearing times here. Um, it's super overpowered. I would say the Gila, it is objectively the best um, ship for high scale exploration combat site it just breezes through these uh, like it's completely nothing so let's take care of the final two here we can also add a little bit more missile dps to get those guys done there we go let's return the drone bay loot this and do a quick reload all I do think that we'll do that and, and while I get into a better position for the gate there's also something else that I want to mention um, so next gate we'll, we'll see how the Gila works but the CSM minutes it's definitely a pretty hot topic on Reddit and uh, on the forums as well CCP so actually opened up a comment thread on it and uh, I would say on that um, to be honest take the time if you can find the time to go through these minutes yourself um, because while the comments give off a very negative vibe i don't really share that after going through most of the csm minutes sure we're bouncing on the typical problems when it comes to evil line development that it's super complex there's there's problems that the csm has with for instance fatigue that will probably not get addressed at the short term uh, but overall i felt like it was it was a normal discussion that you could expect when you are dealing with well a developer that doesn't have uh, infinite resources like a blizzard like an EA and uh, that is trying their best to uh, balance out the needed balance changes the needed maintenance for the game and trying to develop new features that will bring in new blood and bring back uh, older players and all of that good stuff so i didn't get the, the same negative vibe from the csm minutes as what i was generally seeing in the comments um, and uh, i think that you know best, best thing to do if you're curious about it is to 
uh, go read them yourselves. Is EVE Online in super hype mode at the moment? Of course not. The game has been going for 15 years. We've been in this place before. And for me, this is a great time to do my own thing and to try to consolidate um, my, uh, my holdings, my skill points, everything that I've got in EVE Online so that when hype time comes back, I'm in an even better position to try and uh, take advantage of that. So, oh, they're actually attacking one of my infiltrators. I'm actually gonna return both, both of these. This gives me another chance to run the launchers, not just on some of these Black Ops veterans, which are like destroyer hulls, but also on this uh, missile launcher. So let's see how that works out. Let's activate the afterburner, get closer to our loot pinata. Yeah. All right, Some, uh, someone said, why not uh, group them by two for the launchers? Well, I think if you're gonna ungroup anyways, the aim is to waste fewer missiles. And then as a result, I would say just go all the way then. Uh, try to have the individual missile launcher on the individual target. Um, so like that. All right, infiltrator comes back out because we are obviously closing in on the Black Ops commander, who is my target. And, well, the shield tank for a 3 out of 10, it's just not budging. Oh my god, he goes right after them again. Well, let's see if he can be blown up quickly enough. Those guys are down, so we're gonna add some missile damage to that. You Black Ops bastards. There we go. Love how the min uh, DMR uh, lasers are clearly visible in space now. That's really cool. He blows up. Let's go for the wreck. Let's target the rest. Final missiles on this guy. And yeah, Gila, really great. I still think that the fit itself is okay. Just, it's absolutely true. Don't use Mjolnir missiles um, in the Gila because those are not bonused. Whereas Thermal, for instance, against Sansha is bonus and that does make a lot more sense uh good loot drop as well here 50 million uh, uh 58 million yeah 57 million and you can see in a previous side i also got a circumstance blueprint so i've been pretty damn lucky and as everything blows up here i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you all next time